Hey everyone, it's time for another Pathfinder Adventure Card Game Scenario. This is Scenario 5.3. We're in the Sculptor's Lair. Advancing the Blessings deck, uh, first thing we get is the Henchman, the Brass Golem. Immune to attack, fire, and mental traits. Uh, before you act, he's going to do D4 damage. Okay, so one point of fire damage. Uh, fortunately, in my hand, I have the Dijin uh, favorite amulet, but I think I'm going to save it. This Brass Golem has a uh, if defeated effect. So what I'm going to do, I have to take one fire damage, so I will lose the acid jet spell as damage. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is I have an acid splash, well actually he's immune to the attack trait. Okay, so that really sucks. So attack fire and mental okay so fortunately I have in my hand I have the explorer's staff so I can use my melee which is a d8 and a d6 and I'm going to discard this card to add another d6 I also have the ally Idori in my hand I'm going to recharge her in order to add a d4 so I'll add a d4 then I'm going to recharge a Frost Staff item in order to add a D12. Okay, so hopefully all these dice will be more than enough to give me, I get to add two to this roll. D10 fell on the floor, okay. So we get a total of, let me gather the dice here. Okay, so we get six. 7, 15, 25, 26, so more than enough, 26, uh, it would, the grand total is 28, so he's defeated, but he deals 1d4 fire damage, okay, so he deals 2 fire damage, fortunately I have the Dijin Favor Amulet, which is awesome because I'll be able to recharge that, along with either the Explorer Staff or the Acid Jet, uh, so that's going to be the acid jet spell gets recharged and he is defeated but unfortunately he doesn't have a uh, when closing the location effect so that means that I have to go through this entire location deck which is really really hard okay advancing the blessings deck we get an alchemist's kit uh, not too interested in this item roll the five over here so we don't acquire this card. Advancing the Blessings deck. Let's see, what do we get? Okay, we get this guy. Elemental Arachnid. Immune to Mental and Poison. Uh, let's see what we're going to do here. So, da, 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 da. first thing I have to do is take an Acid, Cold, Electric, and Fire damage. Okay, the only thing in my hand, I have the Crocodile Skin the Medu Armor. So I'm going to recharge that to prevent one point of damage. Um, then, what I'm going to do is... Hmm, I have to take three points of damage. So I'm going to lose the Thaumet Clansman. Well, I want to keep him. I'm going to lose the Anubis Splash. The... Let me see... Let's see, I'll lose that, the Ice Storm spell, and I'll lose the Acid Splash spell, and I'll lose Sophronia. No, I'm going to lose the Fomit Clansman. Okay, I had to take three points of damage. So now I need to go ahead, I'm going to use my Sirocco, uh level 5 spell, Arcane skill, which is a D10, and 3D8, 1, 2, 3D8. Uh, and you know what? I think that's going to be enough. Leave it at that. So I rolled a 9 and an 8. Two fours. So we have all that. Okay. So we are all set. He is defeated. He has an if undefeated effect. but So we don't have to worry about that. Reset in my hand. 
advancing the blessings deck. We get a Tusk of Silk Cloak. Roll on D6. Okay, we acquire that card. Pretty awesome. Um, let's see. No recharge effects for extra exploration, so we'll just toss that card. Advance the Blessings deck. We get the Tomb Raider. I love this card because it's only a 4. Uh, so it's an auto acquire for Amotep. Pretty cool since she's level 5. I'll go ahead and use the Tomb Raider right away. And we're going to get a free exploration. Ouch, we get the Void Glyph. Whew. So I didn't examine this card. Fortunately, I have a Blessing of Abdar in my hand. Uh, let's see, what is this card? It says here, the difficulty to defeat is increased by twice the scenario's adventure deck number. So that's going to be a 10 there. So I have to roll a 16 Intelligence. So fortunately, I have the Blessing of Abdar. I'll be rolling a 3d10. It's actually an Arcane, so I get to add 2. Wow, what a beautiful roll. 1927, 28, 29. Okay, more than enough. Awesome. So, really, really happy about that. Yeah, trying out a new uh, advancing the blessings deck here. We go. It is uh, trying out a new light angle. Uh, not really the best, but I'll have to fix it up. I don't acquire this card. I could recharge a card to acquire this card. Uh, let's see, do I want to recharge anything? No, I really like my hand. I'm going to recharge a Blessing of Kepri. And I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll get that spell. Even though it's level 1, don't really need it. Advancing the Blessings deck. Okay, we get a Copus. I'll roll for my Dexterity. So I rolled a 1. Uh, my Dexterity is plus 2, so it's a 3. The Sculptor's Lair says when you fail a Dexterity check, uh, you are dealt 1d4 cold damage. I don't know if this counts. I guess it is a dexterity check. So to be on the safe side, I will recharge the Speak the Dead spell, or Speak with Dead. I'm going to add 2 to that roll, since I'm Amotep. I'll acquire that card. Alright, so looking pretty good. Got 2 cards left in the Location deck, 3 cards left in the Blessings deck. Advancing the Blessings deck. Alright, we get this chump. Uh, do not like him at all. He's immune to electricity, mental, and poison. Uh, da, 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 da. okay, I'm gonna try an acid splash spell with this guy. Oh, uh, d10 plus d6. I'm gonna recharge my staff of focus so I can add a d12. And then I'm gonna also just use a blessing of Abdar just to be on the safe side. Well, I'm at a, the smithereens. Yep, and he is completely destroyed. 19, 21, 23, 24, 25. But I have to suffer a Scourge. That really sucks. The Scourge die is 1d8 plus 1 on level 5. So that means that I acquire the Curse of Daybane. Ouch. So I'm rolling to see if I recharge the Acid Splash spell. Uh, die 10 falls on the deck. Okay, so good news there. I recharged the acid splash spell. So happy about that. I suffer, he gets banished. I suffer the curse of Daybane. Not too happy about that. Recharging my hand here. So what that means is that, oops, that's the curse of poisoning. Uh, curse of Daybane. Where is the curse of Daybane? Alright, so let me go find a Curse of Daybane here really quick. Dun, 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 dun. This giant stack of curses. There we go. That's what I wanted to show you. Got a Curse of Daybane going on. So that means that I'm, when I advance the Blessings deck... Okay, fortunately it was a Blessing of Matt. Which means that since it's non-basic I can do my normal free e exploration. Exploring the last card in this deck, which happens to be a Plasma Ooze. Joy. Okay, immune to all this stuff. Uh, before you act, succeed at a Strength 13 check or bury a weapon. Well, I actually have that lame Copus knife in my hand. So I really don't care if I fail this check. Yeah, sure. Uh, wow, I rolled a 2. 
So discard a weapon, yeah, I'll discard the copus. But now I have to find out some way. Okay, fortunately I can fry it up with my uh, Sirocco spell. Or Sirocco, I should probably start pronouncing that right. Okay, so it's uh, my Arcane, which is D10. It's 3D8. If this had the aquatic trait, I'd be those D8s would turn to D12s. I'm going to recharge the Flame Staff so that I get an additional D12. And I'm going to recharge my ally, Idori. So I roll an additional D4. Okay. I'm trying to roll a 20 here. So I rolled a 5 and an 8. 13 and a 4 is a 17. 18, 19, 20, 3. So 26 grand total. Wow, those orange dice are just on fire. Alright, so the plasma ooze is defeated. Resetting my hand. 2, 3, 4. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we got with the blessings deck. Hey, hey, it's a basic card. It's the the final card in the blessings deck is basic. Curse of Daybane says, I can't explore. Um... Uh, but you know what's interesting? Curse of Daybane says I can't explore, but I don't need to explore this location because there are no more cards in this location. So technically, last turn, since there were no more cards, I could have attempted to close the location. But I'll just attempt to close this location right now. I have to summon and defeat the warrior dolls. So they are... Da -da -da, it's your immune to mental and poison. Difficulty the feat is increased by twice, so, so basically uh, it's a 10, so I need a combat 20 check to defeat them. If the check has the fire trait, unfortunately, I'd, oh actually you know what, I got a blessing of raw, so I can add the fire trait to this check. So pretty nifty, uh, so what we're going to do, and I have to defeat this bane by 2, otherwise there's going to be possible delay in winning the game. So I got a lightning bolt spell in my hand. I'm using that. So it's going to be a D10 and a 3D6. I got that. I'm going to use the Blessing of Ra, which means that I can add a die. So I'm going to add another D10. And I get to add the fire trait. Then what I'm going to do is I got my ally Sophronia. So I'm going to use her for 2D6. Do, 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 do. Uh, do that, and I'm going to recharge a frost staff, so I got a d12. All right, roll a total of three, six, eight dice. All I need is a 20. All right, so even with the die falling on the floor, I have 5, 9, 10, uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22, 23, 24. 24 plus that mystery die on the floor, but that's more than enough to defeat the warrior dolls. And resetting my hand, making sure I didn't die this scenario. And I get, yes, I can refill to my hand size of 8. Alright everyone, so let's go ahead, we successfully, mm, yeah, so we won this scenario. Awesome, the reward for the scenario was a power feat. Okay, let's check out this power feat here. And I once again, I apologize for the light angle. I'm going to have to do something. I don't like this shadow here. Really annoying. Okay, so what we're going to do is for the power feat, we are going to study the Staff Magus character path here. Hmm. So, I already have my maximum hand size. There's one, two, three, four, five options. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to be going with the uh, when you attempt a knowledge or diplomacy check, you may recharge a card and add its adventure deck number. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be going with that as my addition for uh, the just advancement. All right, everyone. Well, uh, that's going to be it for this adventure path. Uh, once again, new light uh, scenario here. So kind of annoying. I'm going to fix that. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll have another scenario up shortly. Thank you.